Mikey Pipes. Still Friday. I was home, about to go into the pool. An emergency service call came in. It's like, Mike, help me out. My mother has no hot water. I'm in Laurelton, part of Queens, not too far away from you. And Sears can't come until the 28th of October. The 28th of October. Can you believe that? So we asked, do you service Kenmore? I was like, absolutely. We'll be there within the hour. All right, let's go. Like me to wear a mask? Okay, one second. How you doing this morning? I'm good. Excellent. All right, let's see what's going on. Lead the way. Mm -hmm. You better not come down here. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you better not come down here. Why isn't this in place? When the installers came in, I heard they installed from Sears when they came in. They this is not installed properly with the code. Huh? This is not installed to code. It's unsafe to run. You, you need to have the diverter on top of it. They, Sears installed this? Yeah. You should call them back and get a supervisor there on the phone? No Sears. Well, whoever is servicing them now, who's service, who installed it? Sears, I, right? Well, when I called Sears, Sears said, Sears, well, I've had this in. I have not had any problem from this. Since I know, I hear it, but just because it's ne never a problem doesn't mean it's right. Okay. I'm, just trying, I'm just looking out for your, your, your health and your best interest. That's okay. okay. But I'm not, I'm not here to like, listen, I'm here to relight the pilot, hopefully, but that's a major no-no. You can't have this like that. You have, this has to, yeah. this, and this only takes two seconds. Mm -hmm. This goes right here. Mm -hmm. There's a slot for it. We're gonna find that little slot hole. There it is. This goes right there. There's one there, and there's another one there. And that goes on there. That's how, it's, oh sorry. That's how it's supposed to be in. It only took 10 seconds. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why, okay. So the pilot went out, when did it go out? Um, it went out on, it went out, we lit it on, two, I think, uh, Tuesday. It came, we lit it, went back on. It went out again on Wednesday, lit it again. And then it keeps going in it, and, and now it won't come back on. But it has been happening. I had somebody come in. How long has that going on for? Beginning of the year, okay. they lit it and it stayed lit. And then maybe it went out maybe two times since. And now it keeps, it just, every time you light it, it goes back out. I'm waiting for it to do something. I assume the gas is on, right? You have gas? Huh? The stove works? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can work this up there. Power's flame on. There is a, uh, there's a safety switch that's wired in mm -hmm. to the system. And I just pushed it in and it went it went out. And I'm willing to wager it's all about that, that diverter. We'll see if it stays lit. If it stays lit, that's the problem. Huh? If it stays lit, that's the problem. Yeah, like, it's getting too hot in there. Huh? It's getting too hot in there. But like I said, it, this has been there since 2015. I, I, I know, I, I trust me, I know. <laughs> okay, and I had somebody come before and they lit and, and they lit it and it stayed lit for a while and then it went out again. So, I mean, I don't want to have somebody charge me for just lighting it and then again, I still have the same problem. That is, I'm not going to keep paying for the same issue. Okay. But whoever was here before never bothered to clean this filter, by the way. 
Again, starving for air. And now, you try to relight it. I just relit it. And now it's on. Happened, same thing happened before. But you have a dirty filter and you have the diverter's not in place. It's not properly installed. You can't expect, and I know you said it put it in 2015, but if, if, if there becomes a problem, you look at the obvious things first. And whoever was here before never bothered to look at the obvious things. So, so let this run for a little bit and see what happens. Well, it's not gonna heat up right away. <laughs> it just, just turns on. You're gonna eat at least a half hour, 45 minutes. Yeah, because even lately, when it when we got the thing on and when it heats up, it's still the water is not hot, hot. That's what's been going on. Long shake. Let's watch this flame. What's the temperature of the water coming out of this thing? Now? Yeah. That is not a normal flame. It's so cool. I'm let it run for a little minute. The flame's bouncing around in there. They said it's not under warranty anymore? Yeah. You may want to consider replacing it then. I just bought it in 2014. Again, it's not under warranty. You want to, you want to spend hundreds of dollars on, on parts on this thing? It just went out. Sir. Main valve turned off. One flash. You got a defective gas valve. Huh? You have a defective gas valve. The flame randomly turns off. The pilot, the pilot is still lit and just comes on and off. On and off, you got a bad gas valve. All right, so as you can see, gas valve is clearly messed up, turning on and off. Um, I don't have, unfortunately, that long shank gas valve in the truck, but what I do have is the part in the shop, so. Right now, I am driving about three miles away. Like I said, we're in Laurelton, which is Queens, New York City. And my shop is literally at 3.1 miles away. It's 11 minutes away. So we're going to uh, go get that. But in the meantime, this guy's fudged. Get him. Get him. The popo. God bless the men in blue. Blue lives matter. All right. Let's hustle. And of course, I was kind of rushing to get out of there. I didn't want to charge them more than an hour of labor, even though we're there twice. And I forgot to open up the domestic cold water valve on top of the water heater. And sure enough, she calls me. I'm just about home. And she goes, the relief valve is dripping water. I'm like, I told you to replace it. She goes, no, you didn't. I'm like, ha ha, let's go to the videotape. And I told her, yes. You said it was out of warranty. I said, ma'am, it's out of warranty. Maybe consider replacing it as the first option, you know, because gas valves on water heaters are just expensive and they're not designed. They're priced like ink cartridges, right? They want you to buy another printer. And she goes, oh yeah, you told me. And you also told me it was X amount of dollars to replace it. And I said, you're right. And she goes, well, I also don't have any water coming out of the faucets, hot water. Like, no hot water? Like, no, nothing at all. I'm like, damn it! I forgot to close the, open the valve. 
I didn't say it that way, though I said, go in front of the water here. You're gonna see those flexible braided steel connectors there. There's a, there's a lever that's perpendicular to the pipe. She goes, what does that mean? I was like, it's the opposite direction of the pipe it's attached to. I was like, oh, I see it. It's like, now turn it so it's parallel. She goes, what does that mean? I was like, it's parallel running with the pipe. She goes, oh, I opened it. Save the day. And then I asked her, you need a job? She goes, no, unemployment is better. <laughs> Make sure you thumbs up. Say my commands day to thumbs up this video. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. We are almost at 25,000 subscribers, which means we're halfway, halfway to the most epic pool party ever on YouTube. And it's gonna be hosted by me, Mikey Pipes. So St. Mike commands thee to thumbs up, subscribe, and remember, sharing is caring. All right, be well, God bless, stay safe.